Hey everybody, this is Josh Cavalier with Brightstream TV and Lodestone, and today I want to go ahead and share with you some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Captivate 9. The first is zooming in and out. Something so incredibly easy and you do it all day long, but who wants to come up to the top and click on this drop down over and over again? Yeah, it's very time consuming. So, let me go ahead and share with you the keyboard shortcuts for zooming in and out. First, hold down the control key or command if you're on the Mac and control 1 is 100%, control 2, 200%, control 3, 300% and control 4, 400%. Now one of my favorites is control 0, that is best fit. So if you are moving panels around, notice that now at the best fit that your work area is going to scale properly. I love that one. Notice that when I'm zooming in though, control 2, control 3, and control 4, that I'm going to the upper left hand corner of the work area. Best fit. So here's my big tip. If you want to zoom in a specific area, select the object that you're interested in first, then use your zooms. Control 2, control 3, control 4, control 0. Isn't that awesome? So again, select your object. All right, next keyboard shortcut. Let's go down to the timeline. Now, when I extend the timeline out, you'll notice that these objects don't follow along. Now, it's really time consuming to go ahead and click and drag and move them all out like so. Well, we have an excellent keyboard shortcut. Control E or extend to the end. Now, the official process is show for rest of the slide, control E, but the way that I remember it is extend to the end. Let's take a look, control E or command E on the Mac. Now if you want to do multiple objects, no problem, hold down the shift key, select multiple, control E, and you extend to the end. Now let's say that I want all these objects to start at two seconds, huh, same thing. I could drag them all out and hold down shift and you know that works just fine but if I want some precision in here I can go ahead and move the playback head out to two seconds and then use another keyboard shortcut control L now the way I remember that one is go to the line and the official process is called sync with playhead but I like to remember go to the line go to the line again if I want to move these back no problem Select an object, control L, move them one at a time, or hold down the shift key, control L, go to the line. I love that, that's fantastic. Now the last keyboard shortcut I want to show you, let me go to the screen with a few buttons here, is simply going in and duplicating an object. Now I can go in and copy and paste, control V, control C, duplicate, you know, all the classic ones that are here, right? duplicate control D but there is an easier way just hold down the control key that's all you need to do so if I want to duplicate this bottom button right here hold down the control key click drag and look at that it duplicates the object again holding down the command key on the Mac will also work that process and that's it those are my favorite keyboard shortcuts